Hello, everyone, and thank you, Julianas, for introducing me. Um, today, I will give a short presentation on crowdfunding, a new wave of capital resource for business. I will try to introduce you with the current state of crowdfunding in Lithuania and Europe. Later on, we will have a discussion on the same topics. As Vice Minister of Ministry of Economy mentioned, uh, recently, the Lithuanian authorities uh, have published a consultation regarding proposals on instruments designed to promote alternative finance to small and medium businesses. This includes a proposal to regulate crowdfunding in Lithuania. Since it is proposed to regulate only lending-based crowdfunding, which is often called P2P business lending, and the equity-based crowdfunding, I will mainly concentrate only on these two different alternative financing tools. Some may ask, do we really need such financing tools? And the answer lies in the following numbers. As once again, our Minister of Finance, Vice Minister of Ministry of Economy has mentioned, in Lithuania, bank credits compose approximately 64% of all financial liabilities of business ventures. In 2013, in the European Union, more than 35% of all small and medium enterprises did not get bank financing. While in Lithuania, according to the recent data from the first half of 2014, this figure was even 39%. This is often because small and medium enterprises do not meet banks' desired risk profiles, although they are viable companies. These numbers mean that companies, especially those in early stage with big growth potential and ability to create a huge value in the future, uh, have a weak negotiating position with the banks, and so receives bank lending but uh, on less favorable conditions, or even do not receive it at all. The European Banking Federation's recent report points out that the protracted weakness of the European economy has led to a decline in the outstanding volume of bank loans to small and medium enterprises. As the last financial crisis has showed, this greater dependence on bank lending makes our economies and small and medium enterprises more vulnerable, vulnerable uh, when bank lending tightens. In addition to this, Lithuanian households have a limited variety of where and how to invest their savings. Um, declining deposit rates may provide some incentives for our households to shift part of their uh, financial wealth from banks into crowdfunding. Therefore, there is necessity to enhance the confidence of retail investors in capital markets and crowdfunding. So what crowdfunding is? Generally, crowdfunding is referred to as open calls to the public to raise funds for a specific project. In its typical form, an online platform gathers fund seekers who are project owners and fund givers, backers. Fund seekers publicize their projects on the internet on special platforms to contact potential fund givers. Crowdfunding can be very beneficial for both sides. It provides an alternative method of financing, which can be very attractive where borrowers struggle to qualify for full funding from traditional sources of financing, such as banks, private equity, houses, and angel investors. Crowd investors, on the other hand, can invest directly into the opportunities which uh, previously have not been available for them. A lending-based crowdfunding is structured as 
that transactions through conclusion of loan agreements between individuals and nowadays institutional investors and existing businesses who are mostly small and medium enterprises. Basically, um, basically um, fund givers provides loans to ventures and later on those ventures repays loans with the accurate interest. In contrast, the equity-based crowdfunding is shaped mainly for investments into the capital of business ventures through acquisition of shares or other financial instruments granting participation rights. Basically, it is a sale of registered securities by mostly early stage firms to investors. In order to understand the benefit of crowdfunding, we should look at the experience of other European countries. Recently, the University of Cambridge presented research on alternative finance in the European Union, and the results are more than amazing. 201 million euros of early stage growth working and Capital funding were provided to European startups and small medium enterprises in 2014. And this number does not even include investments made in the United Kingdom, where the size of alternative finance market in 2014 reached 2 billion euros. It is four times bigger market than the rest of the Europe alternative finance market. Approximately 6,000 small and medium enterprises were provided with business finance over the past year in the European Union through alternative financing plus platforms, and of which the majority were P2P business lending and equity-based crowdfunding. P2P business lending and equity-based crowdfunding in 2014 provided respectively 93 million euros and 83 million euros of finance to various projects and companies across the Europe. Only the reward-based crowdfunding model provided more funds than, the, than these two alternative financing tools, but the difference is not significant. The growth rate of the P2P business lending market and equity-based crowdfunding market in Europe in 2014 were respectively 272% and 162%. Figures indicate that the market is constantly growing. Experts predict that the market growth this year will be rapid as well, and the industry will reach 2 billion euros. If you wonder how popular alternative financing is across, among other European countries, please take a look at this map on the slide. It provides the number of platforms established across Europe. UK is the undisputed leader with 65 platforms. Spain has 34, France 33, Germany and the Netherlands have 31 each. Even Estonia has four. What about Lithuania? We have a unique opportunity to make our country the friendliest and most attractive crowdfunding jurisdiction. With proper legislation, we have a chance to redraw European crowdfunding map. It is very welcome that our regulator and other authorities have showed initiatives and understands the need of alternative financing tools, such as crowdfunding. 